let's talk about JavaScript's double question mark operator, more commonly and confusingly known as the nullish coalescing operator. It really just has one simple job. It helps us provide default values. And before it was introduced, the way we would do this is using logical or. We'd have a left side, a right side, double pipes in the middle, and the left side will be returned unless the left side is a falsy value. For example, I've got a course object here that has a name, mega insane JavaScript bootcamp A to Z masterclass. It has a regular price and a discounted price. If I'm trying to set the price as a separate variable, I'm gonna use the discounted price if it exists, or I'll use the regular price. So in this case, price ends up at 89.99. The trouble here is what if the left side is a falsy value? JavaScript handles falsy values kind of weird. Obvious ones like null, undefined, and false are falsy, but so are empty strings and zero. So if I go back here and I decide to put my course completely on sale for free, it's a giveaway, all of a sudden this price variable is going to be set to something completely different. It's set to the full regular price, $129.99, because this left side is falsy, zero or 129, results in 129. Even though this is a value, it's still a falsy value. This is where the nullish coalescing operator comes in. It will always return the left side unless the left side is exactly null or undefined. Those are the only two situations. And it's written with two question marks. So if I replace this with two question marks, take a look at price, it's now set to zero. Because zero, question mark, question mark, 129, the left side doesn't matter if it's falsy. It's not null and it's not undefined, so we use the left side. Of course, if it was null on the left side, it returns the right side. And the same goes for undefined. Those are the only two situations where the right side will be returned. And that's all there is to the nullish coalescing operator. What a name.